You looking to never mow again and buy one of those AI robot mowers, but you've been told that your yard is just too complicated? Well, today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the new 83000 by Ecovacs. You may just change your mind. Big thanks to Ecovacs for sending us this beast so I can put it through its paces. Now, the A3000 comes as a complete kit. It comes with the charging station, and it also comes with the A3000. It, it just throws me off a little bit not having the antenna. I had to look in the box a second time just to be sure. But the real question is, is what makes this special? Now the A3000 is a perimeter wire-free AI robot mower. And if you're not familiar with this world, it's something straight out of the Jetsons. It'll mow pre-programmed areas of your lawn so you don't have to. Now the best part about the A3000 is it runs off of a LiDAR, absolutely no need for an RTK antenna. So it's half the trouble. What sets it apart from the rest is this is a LiDAR based robot mower that will mow over three quarters of an acre lot within 12 hours. So let's get into the juicy details, shall we? And go over my first impression. Also what Ecovacs is promising us about the A3000. Now this thing is fully loaded with a dual cutting head with a total width of 13 inches. Now the cutting heights are adjustable between 1.2 inches and 3.6 inches through the application. It comes with these caster style wheels in the front and these textured tires in the back. You're going to get really easy turning on this, easy on the grass as well, and it'll also handle slopes up to 50% or 27 degrees. Now it's loaded with safety features like this emergency stop button, this built-in rain gauge, and also built-in obstacle avoidance, and it also comes with this built-in bumper sensor. Now the A3000 is capable of mowing up to two and a half hours on a single charge with its 5,000 milliamp battery, and this 32 volt beast is fully capable of charging in only 45 minutes and that is absolutely insane now what sets it apart from the rest of the competition is this dual lidar setup it's got this 360 degree spinning lidar on top and a 3d tof sensor in the front simply put it helps it navigate and also avoid obstacles by using lasers to create a 3d map of its surroundings so essentially it scans the environment identifies objects and creates a complete visual map of its environment. For me, what's incredible is this machine can be programmed to mow up to three quarters of an acre, all while doing it within a 12 hour mowing window. So for those of you guys with medium to large size lawns, this is a fantastic option. Not to mention this also includes other smart features like Ecovac's True Edge technology, which we'll be testing and talking about in detail. But enough of the talk, let's get this thing going and test it out. Let's dive right into the uh, setup and installation process now that we have this thing unboxed. According to the instructions, this is gonna be easy peasy. Matter of fact, I'm gonna leave this footage uncut so you guys can really see how easy it is. It's as easy as figuring out where you're gonna install the base station that has to have a power supply, and then putting the machine on the charge station, turning it on, pairing it to the application with their QR code, um, and then following the instructions to uh, automate the system. Now, one thing I absolutely love about Ecovacs is they've uh, created an autonomous programming sequence through the mower. It identifies the grass and will literally identify the zone or the area you want to cut in all by itself. You don't even have to remote control it and identify the area if you don't want to. Second of all, it will do multi-zoning. So you can do the front yard versus the backyard. Oh, you little punk. Get out of the way. Move. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you see that right now as far as my mapping experience went even with our happy little accident everything went really really well as you can see by the boundary i'm going to go ahead and remap it real quick but let's talk about this overall the setup experience was about uh 15 minutes 10 of which had to deal with the firmware update it took longer than i expected but once we got to that point we got to the auto mapping Man, this thing is just awesome. Let's start the mow. So 
So let's talk about my experience with the A3000. Now my lawn isn't going to do this machine justice. So I decided to pick a more complicated lawn and this property is 30,000 square feet and just the grass areas measure just under 16,000 square feet. So the property has a ton of flower beds and it's got more trees than most yards I could find and it's complete with a small children's playground area and loaded with thin transitional work areas between the flower beds. So my favorite part of the difficult landscape was a small walkway on the side of the house surrounded by a bunch of trees on the neighboring side of the property and a two-story brick wall on the other side. It's a major limiting area for most RTK systems. And just to ramp up the difficulty, I installed the charging station and butted it up right against the house. So here's what I've learned about the A3000. The A3000, it mows in traditional mowing patterns. And to top it off, it changes mow patterns every single week. Now, as they market it, I can change the mow direction, the heights of cut all through the software, and you can easily create paths from the front yard to the backyard. Now I tried to max out the machine with the space that can handle mapping and the mapping experience was good. It took me about an hour. I mapped the front yard in this massive side and backyard all at once. Now, one convenient part uh, of the software is being able to divide zones into smaller areas through the software. So I split the large zone into several smaller zones and I created no-go zones around all the flower beds. I was super impressed to see the robot mower go through the smaller channels uh, between the flower beds. It's actually really satisfying to watch. You can also set and manage multiple schedules for the mower. So you can schedule the entire area or you can schedule per zone. So zone planning allows you to change the height of cut per zone, speed of the mower, and also how it chooses to do the edge cutting. So this came in extremely handy, especially Especially on that narrow side of the house. Uh, it has some muddy spots due to the excessive shade and the mower it handled it like a boss. Not only did it mow the area properly, but it also avoided all the mud and the non-grassy areas, which is super impressive. Another really cool part of the Ecovac system is the True Edge technology. At the end of the mow, the mower does a lap around the zone and it cuts along the perimeter edge. In edge mode, it's gonna get as close to the edge as it can detect. And as you can see by the video footage, it gets within centimeters distance. In cross boundary mode, if a clear non-grassy boundary is detected, like a sidewalk or flat surface, the robot literally straddles the map boundary for mowing, eliminating the need to weed whack. Always fun to watch. As far as the obstacle avoidance goes, the A3000 does a good job. And when it came to the child's playground area, we had several obstacles to deal with. Mower was able to detect valve boxes on the ground, kids' jumper toys. The most challenging objects was the disc golf basket and the kids' climbing geodome. And I was surprised at how well it handled the geodome. Uh, looking at the map of the A3000, not only did it detect the geodome, but it also shows that it could tell that there was grass underneath the geodome and then it updated it as an object in the mapping software. It really exceeded my expectations. Now as far as the general obstacle avoidance goes with the A3000, it's capable of avoiding objects to the 3.9 inches or taller. So the A3000 comes complete with a fail-safe bump sensor uh, for objects that are below that, which it had to use once or twice on the legs of the disc golf basket, and it worked as expected. Now as I mentioned before, the A3000, it runs in traditional mow patterns, but I noticed it would bounce bounce around here and there when it encountered an object. Now impressively, it was always going back to the area that it missed and it kept the same line pattern. Now all in all, the A3000 mows clean, consistent lines. It avoided obstacles as marketed, handled slight slopes in the yard, and navigated through narrow pathways in between flower beds better than I expected. Let's go over my favorite part of the video, which is going over the pros and the cons of owning the A3000. First off, setup is very easy. Not having to deal with the RTK or external antennas makes it so anyone can set up and program this machine. Now, after a couple of weeks of testing, here's what stood out. Setup was quicker than any RTK-based system that I've tried. No wires, no calibration, the autonomous mapping, it's fantastic, and it works as advertised. Now, the machine, as far as navigation goes, it stayed tight and had no problems working under the trees or in areas that were heavily shaded, that had limited line of sight to the sky. It just worked. Not to mention due to the LiDAR technology, you can pretty much place the charging station 
anywhere on the property. As far as runtime goes, I felt like the machine was doing better than advertised. In one of these bigger zones, I mowed a little over 4,500 square feet and still had 40% battery left. And to top it off, the 45 minute fast charging works as expected and faster than any other machine that I've tested up to today. Nothing you wouldn't expect with a 32 volt system. And the kicker is this, the lawn stripes, they speak for themselves. Now, as far as cons go, the machine, it can't mow at night, which is by design due to the LiDAR and the camera system. So in general, you have a 12 hour mowing window, but the fact that it can cut three quarters of an acre is pretty fantastic. And I had no issues this week getting through 16,000 square feet of lawn. Now, the other issue that I noticed is when it finishes a zone cut or it's returning to the charger, it cuts through the lawn randomly instead of following the border back to the charger. This is me being a little bit picky, but it'd be nice if it could go around the border edge as to not ruin the great lines that it just got done creating. Now I would anticipate that Ecovacs will fix this in the future with a simple firmware update. The A3000 isn't exactly a budget mower with an MSRP of $2,999. It sits at the premium end, but with that price tag, it comes with serious tech. This thing is fully loaded with features that you won't find on most robotic mowers. So who is the A3000 for? Now, if you've got a small, to medium sized lawn or even a large one up to three quarters of an acre and you want a robot mower that's easy to set up, this is a great option, especially if your lawn isn't ideal for RTK systems. Think trees, fences, or spotty signals. The A3000 LiDAR based navigation is incredibly accurate and it feels like a glimpse into the future of robotic mowing. That was a friendly reminder. I'll place a link of the product in the description of the video. And as per the usual guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up down in the comments down below. You know I'd love to help you guys out. Till the next time guys, it's Pest and Lawn Ginger. We're slaying lawns.